Ukrainians and Russians have always been brotherly people. And then somebody said that Russia was the enemy, and the escalation began. Scores of Ukrainian soldiers have become prisoners of war under different circumstances. Some of them have uh, deserted their ranks and uh, some of them were taken prisoner in uh, combat. Now, many of those uh, prisoners of war are actually from here in Donbass. Uh, most of them were mobilized into the Ukrainian army at the start of the special military operation. Now, nearly a hundred of those uh, who are from Donbass have decided to join the ranks of the newly formed volunteer battalion fighting on the Russian side um, called Bogdan Khmelnytsky Battalion. Now I've met with some of those uh, soldiers who are preparing to enter combat to defend their motherland and here are their stories. We were in Mariupol when we surrendered to the Russians. They talked to almost all of us about serving for the Russian side. I wanted to join the battalion because my house is on the front line. I want to defend my land. I never wanted to fight against Russia. I have relatives and friends there. The situation is horrible. I understand that we need to defend our land so that civilians can live peacefully. The West sought this conflict with Russia. Ukrainians and Russians have always been brotherly people. And then somebody said that Russia was the enemy and the escalation began. Even before the operation started, I felt there would be a conflict. I decided back then that I would not participate. I deserted my Ukrainian battalion and I was captured after that. I understood that I would be offered to serve for Russia and I didn't mind. My relatives stayed in the Lugansk region, so there was nothing for me to do in Ukraine. It hurts me that Slavs are fighting each other. I'm not bad at history. It foreshadowed this, and now this is happening. Above all, I want Ukraine to understand what the events of 2014 have resulted in. A desire for peace prompted me to join the battalion. I want to defend my land, my family. I want to serve for the future. When I served in the Ukrainian forces back then, there was no anti-Russia attitude. People were just making money. But a lot of propaganda and neo-Nazi sentiments have emerged lately. Many people who got here didn't even understand what they would be fighting for. They say that they were abandoned by Ukraine. Some of them were taken to the front line without any preparation. Now, the people that I spoke with uh, today have been forcefully mobilized into Ukrainian army and as they told me, they never wanted to fight against uh, their own uh, kind. Uh, I've asked them whether they have any hatred in their heart towards the people they will be fighting against and uh, they said that they're all hoping for peace to finally come to Donbass and so that their families and uh, friends uh, can and finally forget all the horrors of this conflict that lasted for nearly nine years. Roman Kosarev, RT, Donetsk Republic. Then the war was over, my discharge papers came. Me and twenty hundred others, we went to Stipner for the trail. Kiev, said the Commissar, there you're on way home. But I never got to Kiev, we never came back home. The train went north of the Taiga, we're dressed in stripes and down of the great sun.
discharged papers came I would have died for my country in 1965 A song that was never sung But now only one thing remains 